everyone. My name is Miss Anna. I've been doing ballet for 20 years all over the world, and I'm super pumped to be here with you with kids up front to do some ballet today. So to get started, we're just going to do a little bit of warming up. We're going to start by reaching up and over to our toes. You want to keep your knees nice and straight. If you're not all the way down to your no toes, that's okay. You can be at your knees, wherever you're at, so that you feel just a gentle stretch. And then we're going to bend our knees and roll up. And we're going to do that again. Reaching up and over, just like that. And bend the knees and roll up. Let's do that one more time. Reaching up and over. And hold, and bend the knees, roll up, and we're gonna take a seat right away. I want you to put your feet right out in front of you, nice and flexed, and we're going to, here I'll turn to the side so you can see a little better. So we're going to point our toes, and flex our toes, and point, and flex, and point, and flex, and point and flex. Now, if you can, point one toe and flex one toe and then switch and switch and switch. Just keep doing that. So what we're doing here is we're still warming up our feet like we were, but we're also warming up our brain for that coordination of doing two different things with two different limbs at the same time. Good. All right, I'll come back to face you, and we're going to go into a straddle position. And what we're going to do is we're going to reach all the way up and over towards one side. And we're going to hold it and come up, and we're going to go over to the other side. Just like that. Good. And now we're going to go straight down the middle. And while we're down in the middle, we're going to walk over so that our shoulders are still flat towards the floor, but we're at a bit of an angle towards one leg and over to the other side. Just a bunch of different variations over the same stretch. Back to the middle so that things like our hamstrings especially are super warmed up and ready to go. Good. Now... One more stretch we should do before we dive into things. Um, you're gonna lay down on your stomach, put your feet flat together, and your knees apart like this. And you don't actually have to do all that much other than just hang out. And you want your feet to slowly fall towards the ground as much as you can, very passively. You don't want to try and force your legs down. You're just gonna hang out here. And this is warming up and stretching our turnout. So our turnout is, um, you see ballerinas with their toes facing out to the side. We call that turnout. Great work. All right. Let's stand up. Now, before we do any of our ballet dance for today, we're going to put our hands on our hips. And just to find our balance, what we're going to do is we're going to point one toe out. Bring it up to a retire position where the toe is touching the knee. Then bring it out and close it down. Good. Out again. Up. Out and close. And you'll see my feet, my heels are together and my toes are apart. We call that first position. So I'm in first position and when I turn my foot out, they're going in the same direction as my toes are pointing. And we're going to come up to Retire, Tondu, and close. And we're going to do the other side. Tondu, Retire, Tondu, and close. Good. Great work. And one last thing right before we get into things. Let's just do a couple plies. Those are always great for things like our hips, knees, and ankles. And we're going to rise up. Something that will help is to find a point of balance straight in front of you to look at. 
and keep looking at it. Keep your core nice and strong and come on down. Cool, great. So today's ballet dance is to the song Music Box Dancer. I love this song for ballet and it's a really great intermediate song to use, especially because we're gonna be a music box dancer. So there's not gonna be a lot of traveling, it's gonna mostly stay in one spot so that it's like you're a music box dancer on her little platform doing a little dance, coming to life for a minute and then going back. Um, I often put this dance in my production of the Nutcracker that I do every year. Even though it's not normally part of the Nutcracker, there is a part where there's a bunch of toys that come to life. And so one of the toys I like to have come to life is the music box. And of course, I want to use the music box dancer music to do that. So the music box dancer piece starts, your feet are actually going to be slightly crossed one in front of the other. So what I do is I find my first position, and then I'm going to turn myself at a little bit of an angle. And the foot that's farther in front, closer to the audience, is going to go just over crossed a little bit, a couple inches. From there, we're going to go, um, there's going to be an introduction in the music for 16 counts. And then we're going to, and in that ride, at the very end of that, we're going to rise up onto our toes. And we're going to turn in a circle. And we're going to do four of these. You get to take little steps with your feet. Circle around, circle around. Four times, just like that. And while that's happening, here's the coordination part. While you do your first circle, your arms are going to come up to fifth on O. And then during your second circle, they're going to come open and back down. Then you're going to do that again. So then in your third, they're going to come back to fifth on O. And during your fourth circle, they're going to go back to fifth on ba. It's a little bit of like patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. Um, but I think you can do it. I think it's going to be really great. So I'll show you. And you might need to pause the video and practice it a little bit on your own to kind of figure that out. But the way that works is I'm going to go around, and as I face the back, my arms are going to be in front of me. Then, as I finish my first circle, they come all the way up to the top. Then, as I face the back again, the arms are going to be straight out to the side, and as I come back to the front, they're going to be back down. And we do that twice through, so then they come up in front of me, and up, and out to the side, and down. Just like that. Great. So let's try that part just with that with music, um, so you can kind of get a hang of that. Here's that introduction I told you about. Six, seven, here we go. Two, all the way up. Open, all the way down. In front of me, all the way up. Open, all the way down. Great. Um, sorry, I was a bit of a liar in the beginning. The introduction is actually only eight counts, not 16. Um, so if you want to prepare, when you hear that mu beginning, music at the beginning, the little piano piece, um, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once you reach eight, you'll know that it's time to start. So I'll show you that right now. So. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Um, when I count it out, when we start doing our dance a little bit more full out, I'll probably just say the five, six, seven, eight. So after we did our four turns, this is where it gets really fun. So we're going to start by picking up 
our front leg into our rotiri, just like we did at the beginning in that warm-up exercise. Pick up the front leg, put it down. Pick up the back leg, put it down. Pick up the front leg, put it down. And you're going to take a little plie. You can pick up, start picking up the back foot so that you can go one, two, three. So those, that's called a pas de bourree. So after our retires, we go step behind, step beside, step in front, and you're going to switch which feet you have. Right? So when I was facing this corner, I had this leg in front. And after my pas de bourree, I'm facing the other corner, and so I have the other leg in front. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Retire, put it down. Retire, put it down. Retire, get ready to go pas de bourree. Yeah, just like that. Sorry. Um, so let's try that from the top. We'll add that on, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, arms come up. Three, four, arms come back down. One, two, all the way up. Open and back down. Here we go. Pick up the front leg. Back. Front, put it down. One, two, three. Front leg. Back leg. Front leg, and one, two, three. Great, lovely, that's looking excellent. So, we're gonna add on our last piece. Um, I'm gonna put my phone down for this because these are called échappés. So for this, you can keep your hands down at the bottom like we've been doing, or you can put them on your hips if that'll be easier. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go plié, and then you're going to let your feet go out onto your toes, out, and then bring them back in and switch places so that the other one is in front. So you go, plie out, come back into a plie. So you're going to do that twice. So you're going to go, so whatever leg you have in front, if it's the right foot, you're going to go out, left foot in front, out, right foot in front. So plie, échappé. Plie, échappé, and then we're going to go up, and we're going to do another little circle, but with, like we did at the beginning, but without the arms. The tricky part about that circle is before we kept our feet exactly where they were, this time they're going to switch places. So I'm going to go from facing this corner with this leg in front to switching around to face the other corner, and as I go around, they're going to switch places. Another great thing to note is that as you're going around, you're going to be going the long way. So I'll show you the other side here. We go Asia pay, switch feet, Asia pay, switch feet, and come up. And I'm going to go the long way away from the audience to come back to the other side with my legs switched again. Just like that. All right. And when you come back around that second time, when you're ready, um, when you're ready to come back down, you're going to bring the arms back down so that we're back in the position that we started in. Because this is going to be the end of our dance, and so we want to be um, part of that toy coming to life. It really helps the character if um, tell the audience that story of coming to life and then going back when they finish in the exact same position that they started in. So, I'm just going to review from the top, and then we'll do it all together with music. So. The first thing we did was count to eight and go up to our toes. Then we do our little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then our right here is go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Front leg, back leg, front leg, and back side front. Great. From there, if you want to put your hands on your hips, that's a great choice. If you want to keep them down, you can do that too. We're going to go 
Échappé, échappé, and up. Turn the long way and switch the legs. Échappé, échappé, and up. Go the long way and change the legs. Finish back in fifth again. That's our position crossed. Okay, let's do that with music all together from the top. We're gonna do it twice the first time. I'll talk along to help you out. And then the second time, I'll put on the music and do it with you, but I won't say anything. So, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, all the way up. Coming back, open to go down. All of that again. Open, bring the arms down. Reach your eyes, one and back and front down back side front front back front and one two three here we go one two three four all the way up turn switch around other side almost there out and close up go the long way and finish Great work, here, I'll just stop it again. Great work, that was lovely. So now we're gonna do it again. I'll do it with you, but I'm not gonna say anything. You can just practice and know it yourself. So here we go. All right, I hope you enjoyed dancing today. Thank you again to Kibs Up Front for doing this. To finish our class, we're just gonna go over a little curtsy. You can just follow along as we do this. We're gonna take a little step to the side. We're gonna point our toe and bring it behind our other foot. And then we're just gonna take a little plie and nod the head. And that is how we do our curtsy to say thank you at the end of the class. Thank you so much for joining me. It was great dancing with you. See you again.